So I was good. I was to bring my, my speed, my strength, um, my versatility to the team. Um, I'm just super excited to be a part of it. Um, I don't even know what too much to say, honestly, but I'm just super excited to bring everything I can. What was it like when you got the call? Uh, honestly, honestly, caught me off guard. I'm sitting here just waiting, waiting and waiting. Then I finally got the call. They're just like, oh, is this Cedric? I'm like, uh, it is. Then they're like, oh, we're going to take you. This is the Bengals. We're going to take you in this, in this sixth round, man. I, I didn't even know. I kind of just froze for a second. Didn't know what to think. But I'm just super happy and blessed to be a part of this team, man. Usually at this time of the draft, uh, the Bengals are taking the best available player on the board. And a lot of times they anticipated that player being drafted like maybe two rounds earlier or at least a round right. earlier than they thought. Uh, did they communicate anything like that to you or just uh, haven't gotten to that point yet? Oh, we haven't got to that point yet. I mean, but it's I'm happy wherever wherever I land. I'm just happy to be a part of the team. Day three can be stressful. How did you pass yeah. the time until you got the call? Just talking to my friends and family that were here. Um, a little bit of TikTok here and there. Just trying to <laughs> any, anything anything to pass the time, really. How would you describe the athleticism you bring to the defensive line? Oh, I bring a lot of athleticism, a lot of athleticism. Um, my explosion off my, uh, when I get off my speed, when I'm running, my strength, I feel like I got a lot to bring to the team. You won the, uh, the Chucky Mullins award. One of those former winners is Bengals cornerback Mike Hilton. Do you know him at all? Yes, indeed. How well do you know him? What's that relationship? I don't really know uh, him like that, you know but I you know of him. Yeah. I know he's, I know he's one of our oldest guys, one of our legends from there. What were your connections like with Cincinnati? I mean, did you had you talked to them or Zoom with them at all or have any ideas could happen? Uh, yes, I had some Zoom meetings with coaches, um, with two of the coaches there. Uh, was in good contact with um, Coach Hobby and Coach Duffer. We had some good conversations. Um, talked talk a, talk a lot with their scouts. Um, had some really great conversations. And uh, they showed their interest in me from the start. A lot of scouting reports indicate that you are versatile. Uh, how versatile yeah. up and up and down the defensive line are you? Um, very versatile. All throughout my career, I played a kind of out of a, a zero technique, a three take, all, all kinds of um, from the zero to the five. You know, I, I pass versed it all. So I feel like I'm going to add a lot of versatility to the team. One of the uh, NFL's better pass rushers is here in Trey Hendrickson. Do you plan to be a sponge and try to learn as much from him as you can? Absolutely, absolutely. I'll be a fool not to um, try to soak up all the knowledge I can from all those guys that are there. Um, just keep adding stuff to my game to keep getting better and better so I can be a great athlete, so I can be a great asset to the team. You better against the run or the pass? Sir? Are you better against uh, as a run defender or a pass rusher? Which is more of your strength? I say for sure pass rush, um, and I'm continuously always working on a, on a run game. I think we're good. Right. Cedric, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. Cedric. Thanks. Thank you all so much. Okay, Welcome, have a great Cedric. night. Thank you. Y'all too.